Here's the bottom line on safari in Africa. Number one, we think you should go to Tanzania because it's an up and coming location and they're hungry for that tourism. It's much less expensive than Botswana or Kenya. And the second thing is that you should really spring for the luxury camping tinted experience or the budget camping at a minimum because if you don't camp, you're gonna miss out on so many unique experiences. Honestly, going on safari is one of the coolest things we've ever done and I think it should be on everyone's bucket list. Driving to the park to start our safari, we were excited. We did not know what to expect. We hoped that we'd see a few animals, learn a few things about the wild plains of Africa. But it didn't take too long to find out that this was not going to be like a Disney safari. Nature is brutal. Everything eats everything. It's all teeth and claws or muscle and speed. Nothing is wasted. And it all surprises you at first. But then you start to understand the balance and beauty of it. I'm fairly certain that these baboons are really cool to us, but I think to the locals, it's kind of like stray dogs or like squirrels. Like they're not really sure why we're so entertained, but look at them. to our campsite and I don't think any of us thought that we would see as many animals as we saw but there were zebras everywhere wildebeest giraffes and they were like right next to us I thought that I'd see like one or two every once in a while um, definitely off-roading lots of fun we've got a pop top <laughs> and it's fun to stand up Mike's been standing up for an hour now he refuses to sit down the Ndutu Plains of Tanzania are pretty special because your guide is not required to stay on the few roads that are actually out there. You can go in any direction and that means you don't know what you're going to see. Our first morning, we found some big cats. Um, when you stop for a bathroom break on safari, even though we just saw lions like 30 seconds that way, you just go a little farther and then you pee behind the truck, but it is the most high alert <laughs> pee you'll ever take because while you're peeing, you're not paying attention to what's going on down there. You're looking, <laughs> you're scanning because there's cats bigger than you. And while you, they might have been sleeping a minute ago, you don't know now. It's but nature. It's pretty neat. We like to pee outside in nature. After we left the lions, we found a coalition of cheetahs. It looked like they were just going to lay around for a bit, but then they spotted some gazelles in the distance. Watching these predators move silently and slowly sent a little bit of a chill down our spines. Yeah. Because they're always sitting on the eggs? Yeah, always, yeah. Always. We're stumbling upon a congress of ostriches. You're full of it. I don't know if it's actually called a congress of ostriches, but I do know that a group of cheetahs is called a coalition. What is the group of ostriches a called? A troop. A troop. A troop. A troop. A troop. A troop. Pretty close. A troop of ostriches. Ooh, Woo. they're not happy with us. We just finished up our picnic in the Serengeti. We're actually on the border of the Serengeti. It was delicious, and it's the first time that I've sat down and had a picnic with zebras and wildebeest just walking around and that's because we're here witnessing how's my hat great okay that's because we're here witnessing a portion of the great migration um in tanzania in africa pretty amazing <laughs> what is lily doing i think lily's peeing with her man pee tool don't worry about that 
Go over here. Don't look at ignore the woman peeing. Anyway, <clears throat> zebras, wildebeest, they kind of migrate together on these beautiful plains because there's no predators here. They drop their babies here. Uh, the wildebeest do. And they all conceive at the same time and then have their babies at the same time because there's less likelihood that your baby will be eaten by a lion or a cheetah. Half a million. Half a million of them at one time. Anyway, it's really cool. Um, one of the coolest picnics I've had, personally. Now we're going to get back in the truck. We're going to drive around some more and we're going to see what we see. right back there and it's so freaking cool we had a great day today the amount of life that's out here just blows you away it's like you can't drive more than I don't know a minute or 30 seconds without seeing something and you you stumble upon the tiniest cutest little creatures and then you stumble upon some things that look extremely fierce and you know they're like super predators and you understand why we're not allowed to walk very far from our tents without escorts while we're out here camping I think there's hyenas down there or something. Don't worry about them. <laughs> yeah, so there's just life everywhere. It's crazy. It's crazy how many creatures are out here. Oh, look at the wildebeest running across the lake bed. So that's like an example of the kind of things that you, you can't even plan for. You just drive around or you're sitting around and then stuff like that happens. Like a huge herd of like 30 wildebeest start running across this, the dry part of the lake bed. So this is like an incredible experience. Definitely one of the top five things I've done, I would say. 